Hey, what's up everybody? I got my son Ethan here helping out with the demonstration today. Uh, he woke up this morning complaining of some pain in his arm and his wrist. And so I thought it'd be a good chance to just show a couple of techniques. Um, so you felt pain from playing badminton and basketball yesterday? Yes. Um, can you point to where the discomfort is? Uh, right here and right here. Okay, so some quick assessment things we can do. So let's just say we've already done a good thorough history and everything. But some really quick things we can do is check range of motion. So what we'll have him do is just bend his elbows all the way. Can you go ahead and try that? Does that aggravate your discomfort at all? Yeah, right here. Okay, so you feel it down by the wrist yeah. when you bend your elbows. How about when you extend your elbows all the way? Is there discomfort when you do this? Um, it's better, but I can still feel it. Okay, with your palms down in that same position, can you bend your wrist down? Is um, that uncomfortable? Yeah. Where do you feel it? Uh, in the back of the wrist. Okay, back of the wrist when he bends it down. How about going up to the ceiling? Uh, it's better. Okay, so he feels less discomfort when he extends his wrist and more discomfort when he flexes. A really quick thing you can do is, with the elbow extended, can you bend the wrist down again? That aggravates the pain, right? Yes. Relax. Take a little bit of tension off the elbow. Just bend it a little bit and have him bend the wrist again. Does that feel better or worse or the same? It feels better. Okay, he said it feels better, so that tells us that, you know, something that crosses the elbow is involved with this discomfort. A quick thing we can do is just stretch a couple of those muscles. What I like to do is I'll take my hand underneath his so I can extend his elbow with one hand, but I can also flex his wrist at the same time. I'll put a little pressure on the second metacarpal. Does that cause any discomfort? Yes. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with the third metacarpal. How about that? Uh, it's better. Okay, so more pain with the second metacarpal? Yes. Okay, so the muscle that attaches to the second metacarpal is the extensor carpi radialis longus. And then the muscle that attaches to the third is the extensor carpi radialis brevis. Okay, so he was showing more signs of having discomfort with the extensor carpi radialis longus because of the stretch and also because of some of the motion testing that we did earlier. So that would clue me in right away to when I do my palpation to make sure that I check that muscle. So when I press on that muscle, I'll try to reproduce his exact pain. So when I press in here, let me know if you feel any discomfort locally or if it radiates, okay? Okay. Yeah, I feel yeah. What did you feel? I felt like a jump and I can feel the pressure on the point. Okay. Yeah. Is it just local or does it feel like it's radiating at all? Um, I feel like More it's local? local. Okay, how about here? This is radiating. Where's it radiating to? Right here. Okay, is that the same area that you were feeling discomfort? Yeah. Okay, so now I've found the spot that's reproducing his exact same pain. So if I only had one needle, that'd be the spot that I would treat. So that's it. Thank you for your help with the demo, Ethan. And until uh, next time.